Hey guys, it's Red Knobster, and I'm in my wrestling world today with a pretty cool device. Um, I just want to state, first of all, that I've been away for a while. I got all four of my wisdom teeth pulled, so I've made a video in about a week. Uh, I've been pretty active on Reddit and stuff like that, so maybe you guys haven't really noticed, but I mean, I have 72 subscribers, so maybe they've noticed. Maybe they've noticed. <laughs> so, uh, but I've been working on something in the meantime. It's called Vanilla Realism. It's under Redstone Plot 8. Now, before I go in there, I just want to say that it's all made with commands. Uh, there's no outside programs that were used, like, uh, you can do it yourself if you wanted to. But I'm going to have a download to this map so you can put this in your map through MC Edit. That way you get all the features that I'm going to show you. Uh, that's literally all you have to do is put in your spawn chunk and then boom. But it's still in testing. Uh, the snapshot's pretty unstable in my opinion. It's 14W08A. and uh, uh, furthering my trail on that, uh, I might have to log out and log back in quite a bit throughout the video, so I'll be some hard cuts just because uh, the unstableness of the snapshot. Uh, it's nothing to do with the redstone. Uh, the redstone works perfectly fine in other uh, other updates, like if I go to 1.7, you know, no frame rate or anything like that. Uh, it's just laggy. I don't know why, but I'm trying to work my best with it and maybe uh, have a finished product by 1.8. So we're gonna go over here. And, uh, uh, first of all, there's quite a bit of things. Now, Vanilla Realism is an idea that I came up with when I was looking through Reddit. Uh, there's been some people that are saying, like, what can I do to make Minecraft fun again? I don't really have that problem. Uh, I enjoy a lot of things about Minecraft. I love PvP, I love creative, I love survival, I love just about everything. Uh, even some stupid stuff that most people don't like. And that's the laggy thing I was talking about. Um, anyways, uh, I'll just stay here till I explain the rest. Now, um, what vanilla realism is, is basically uh, something that I came up with that would spice up gameplay a little bit. Um, it's completely vanilla. All you have to do is just paste it into your world with MC Edit or something. And uh, you have all these features. Now, the features are supposed to add risk to the game, add a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more things to think about while you play. It, not really annoying things like, oh, wow, there's vampires now. Great. <laughs> you know, it's nothing like that. Uh, it could if you wanted to. No big deal. Command blocks are awesome. But <laughs> um, I just added simple things, you know, more realism things that are practical and still entertaining to play with, basically. So uh, I've added hydration. I've added heat stroke. I've added shade, which coincides with heat stroke pretty much. So one of the ways to fix it besides hydration. Um, this is to test if you're in a cave, um, and that's due to oxidation, basically. Uh, if you're a lack of oxygen, your health will slowly dwindle, stuff like that. And if you put a torch down, it will uh, burn more oxygen, and your you lose more oxygen, basically. You won't be getting as much oxygen, so it's pretty realistic in my opinion. Um, there's realistic heartbeats. There is this thing that I have not finished, I'll explain when I get to it. Um, there's overeating, basically. Uh, you're not going to get fat or something, but if you have completely full hunger, full hunger, uh, you walk a little bit slower, it gets slowness to effect, and you just have to wait to digest your food a little bit. And that's kind of a silly thing, I guess. A lot of people wouldn't like that, I guess. I mean, I think it's pretty neat, but it's not really going to change anything except for your eating habits, and I think... It's kind of silly, in my opinion, that if you choose to go on an adventure and you're like, oh, hey, I'm going to trek across the jungle today, and then you end up eating like eight steaks, you know? So I just want to put something in to change food and eating system a little bit. Um, so you can't just have a backpack full of steaks all the time. <laughs> this is frostbite, and this is the cure to frostbite, which is standing next to fire. And that, that's about it. That's everything I got so far. Uh, it takes up an entire plot, as you can see. Um, not all completely finished, but I'm going to go ahead and log out and log back in. Hopefully this lag kind of stops. <laughs> but I'll try to show you guys uh, some of the features hand by hand, and then through the next episode that I put out, I'm going to show you the redstone behind all and the commands and stuff. So if you want to know the commands, just go ahead and uh, check out the next video that I post up in a couple days, and I'll see you there. And I'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay guys, so the first thing on our list today is hydration, which is this system right here. And like I said, I'm going to go over the redstone stuff in the next video, but for now, we're going to go ahead and put our thinking cap on. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and pull out our water bottle. Now, um, as soon as we pick up water in this, you'll already see redstone start working. So, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and go into game mode zero and hurt ourselves. Oh, uh, we need to run around a little bit just so we can lose some food. Mm-hmm. Yep. Lose some food. Here. Uh-huh. Wow. You really don't want to lose food. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's probably not enough. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, okay. There we go. Now, um, I just did that so we won't regain health. <laughs> um, so as you see, um, we have a bottle of water, and if we drink it, wow, still going to gain health. <laughs> uh, I apologize. There we go. That should be fine. If it heals, I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> so we're missing half, a uh, heart and a half. If we drink the water, we'll get regeneration for about 10 seconds I think or 9 seconds which isn't the only feature the second feature uh, coincides with heat stroke and uh, it prevents heat stroke for about a minute or so it can be expandable to however long you want uh, I just have a hopper clock here that isn't even full because I'm not ready to show it but um, it will basically clear the poison effect which is the effect of heat stroke in this case and uh, it'll keep clearing it for about a minute, and then you can always just drink another water bo uh, bottle of water. So that means deserts and beaches aren't like a no-no zone. You can still go there as long as you, you know, take water with you. So uh, that brings me to the next thing. We're going to come up here. And this is uh, heat stroke. So immediately, if you're in a place where you can get heat stroke, you'll start sweating. Uh, it's a little crazy right now. you got some water droplets flying straight into the sky, but for the most part, you can you can kind of tell. Now, it's just a visual aid, pretty much. Uh, it's mainly aesthetics, mainly just looks. Um, but uh, it also helps you know if you're in a bad zone or not. So if you're sitting inside your house, you don't know if there's sand beneath you or something like that. You can always just check to see if you're sweating, and that's, that's how that works. So um, The way this tests for it, though, uh, is by the thickness of uh, the thickness of sand. So, uh, say if you have your house and you build the floor out of sand, you're not going to go ahead and uh, have a risk for heat stroke, even if you're like jumping around on it and stuff. Because uh, it's not just testing if you're on sand, it's testing if you're on sand and if there's sand three below you. So, uh, you can still use it as an aesthetic thing. Um, shade is the next thing. Uh, you'll see those torches right there. They'll just randomly start going off. If we maybe yep you see that <laughs> okay uh, that coincides with heat stroke and heat stroke basically uh, it gets rid of heat stroke the same way water gets rid of it just keeps clearing the poison effect which is the effect for heat stroke now um, you may be wondering what I did uh, you know so you can't just drink a bottle of water and clear the poison effect um, like if you get hit by a witch you can't just drink a bottle of water and be fine um, I kind of fixed that a little bit. Uh, there's still some issues with it, but I'll show you that in the next video. Now this is... let me see if I'm still working. Kind of. No, that was bad. <laughs> okay. Um, a little bit of delay there, which means I'm lagging. So, uh, I mean, as you can tell, I'm solid 30 frames a second and there's nothing going on, but it's just to do with a snapshot. 14W08A, I do believe. Uh, it's using a, like 100% of my CPU for some reason compared to the the 15% it's usually usual. Maybe it's just my computer, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm going to restart the game and show you the rest of it real quick. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> and this is basically testing if you're in a cave, this system right here. Um, it has to do with oxygen oxygen deficiency, yes? Um, if you're in, in a cave, you see those torches will all go off if you're in all three requirements for a cave. And uh, you'll basically have a chance if you stay in a cave long enough, um, you'll have a chance of getting the wither effect, which in this case is the lack of oxygen effect. <laughs> now, um, unlike the other two, uh, the desert one just worked off of uh, the amount you move around in it and stuff. Um, the cave works off of how long you sit in one spot, so 
you're not going to waste more oxygen by moving around and stuff. You're just going to slowly lose oxygen uh, just due to breathing. So that's how that works. Um, I think similarly, something I forgot to mention. Um, if I can remember, I'll go back to it. But that's that's that. Um, there's also a thing that I'm still trying to work out. I just don't know the command for it, really. Uh, which is basically testing if there's a torch, too. So if there is a torch, uh, it'll speed up the process. It'll give it an even higher chance that you'll get oxygen deficiency, basically. Um, so that's pretty neat. Now the next thing is the working heartbeat. And it's probably one of my favorite things just because I like the sound of it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just give myself a wither effect. I did have a zombie in here, but with a lag, sometimes he just freaking lights me on fire and then I die. So it's like, <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and um, slash effect me 20. Yeah, and uh, we're just gonna chill, I guess. Once we get down to two and a half hearts, we should start hearing an uh, intense heartbeat and get the slowness effect, I believe. It's gonna take a little bit. So, ah, <sighs> so I've been having a rough week. <laughs> like, I got all four wisdom teeth taken out, and finally able to talk again without having a whole lot of pain. So that's nice. Oh, okay. Two and a half. Hmm. Is there something going on up here? Yep. <laughs> Guess I forgot to put something in here. Okay. Yeah, that lag is terrible. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, one minute. Okay guys, I am back once again, <laughs> and I fixed it. Uh, okay, so right now I have three and a half hearts because I have absorption on, but if I get rid of that and I just clear that effect, I'll be down to a heart and a half. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah the slowness is three effects, so we're walking pretty slow, and we get that heartbeat effect as well. It's pretty decently loud, but you can always change the volume of it, I think. And uh, you can change the speed of it too, so if I come over here, I click it once. Got kind of that beat to it, I guess. So, uh, you can always just mess with the delay, but pretty much what it is, just not a torch. <laughs> uh, here, let's give me... Stop that real quick. Goodness. Game mode? Game mode. There we go. And then just gonna punch his torch or something. Oh, goodness. That was the wrong thing to do. Uh, stop. Just stop. I'm <laughs> breaking the wrong stuff. There we go. Um, but yeah. Uh, okay, that's that. I'm going to move on before I mess up even more. But yeah, that's, I think it's pretty sweet. Um, this uh, is something that isn't working, sadly, but that's just because I'm too lazy to put it in. <laughs> There's quite a few command blocks, I think. There might be a better way, so I'm going to go through it a little bit and just see what you guys think. Um, what it's supposed to be is a thing that tests if you're in water. So right now, obviously, I'm in the water, so it's testing that. Uh, but it's only testing if I'm in one block deep water. If I come over here, uh, this is testing if I'm on, like, completely submerged underwater. And it turns on, but if, if I start swimming and stuff and I hit the button, I'm still in the water, obviously, but I'm uh, <laughs> still got my thinking cap on as well. Uh, but I'm not completely submerged. So uh, I was going to make it so if you're completely submerged, uh, there's going to be a clock running, basically, and that clock that's testing if you're completely submerged will um, basically go through a, a clock and a randomizer so it's not going to be like you lose an item every single tick or something like that it's going to be like you lose an item randomly over the course of time uh, from your inventory um, and it would be out of every inventory ch uh, every inventory slot now that's possible but uh, you would have to have uh, to my knowledge a command block for every single slot <clears throat> there might be a way around that, uh, but I think it would be a much longer command, and I'm not very good at making commands longer than what they should be. So, I mean, if somebody wants to supply me with that, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, I'll probably credit to you uh, in the comments and stuff like that. But uh, if I do end up making it, it'll probably just be inventory from my hotbar, and then the stuff in the uh, inventory would be like your stored stuff. So, you just gotta make sure that uh, basically you put all your stuff in your inventory before you go swimming <laughs> but I don't know I mean it's kind of like a daisy effect I suppose I don't know if daisy still does that but the mod it did so yeah 
you can swim, but it's a little bit more dangerous, I guess, considering there's not even fish that hurt you in this game. <laughs> Um, so you have to actually plan ahead, make a boat, do whatever you need to do, or just swim carefully and above the water. <laughs> so that's that. The next thing, dang, we're not even lagging it, this is beautiful. My CPU is 8 degrees more Celsius than it was when I started, but that might just be my computer, I guess. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Alright, this thing right here, if I can finish quickly, is just a hopper clock. And uh, I'm going to go with the rest of this too, just because there's, that's all that's here. So. Um, it's testing if it's testing for a player with a food level of 20 and 20 is uh, 10 basically exactly actually so right now I don't have 20 I have 18 I think I have 19 and like a half I don't know <laughs> each one counts as two that's, that's what I gotta say I'm pretty sure it's like 18 and a half right now yeah yeah, okay, that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and go into game mode 1, grab a steak, and then just show you what happens. Scary noise of interruption. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a steak, but whatever. Um, so yeah, got no effect, but if I eat the steak and I have completely full health, it'll give me the slowness 2 effect. And it's not much, uh, you don't really notice a difference, but I do have the slowness 2 effect. Now this is supposed to be infinite amount of time, uh, but it's not going to be infinite because uh, this clock is testing two command blocks. It's testing this one, which the output is on now because you constantly have 20 food. But once it goes down to 19, which is basically when you lose half a food, uh, it will activate this one, which is another test for it's the same thing as that. Just testing for 19 food, which is uh, nine and a half, and it gives you it clears the effect of slowness basically. So that basically means that. Um, you have a full stomach, so you walk slower. You gotta digest your food, pretty much. <laughs> and the only way, and the, I just didn't change this. Oh, change the slowness effect. But if I put it on for longer than 20 seconds, like 40 seconds, uh, you'll probably just lose half a food before you even run out of that time, anyways. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess if you're healing and stuff, it takes more food to run around and such. All right, we still, we still good. So we were not lagging yet. Beautiful. You can tell because these comparators are actually going off at an even pace. Uh, if this starts happening, I'll show you guys these comparators and it'll, it'll just... Oh, it's something. I don't know. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> this is Frostbite. <coughs> and this is the second part of Frostbite, so I'll get into that in a second. Uh, it starts down here. And it... I think it's hooked up. We got all these stuff going? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there's this fast clock, like I said before. Super fast. Well, not placing it back just places it back on its own. It's actually destroying and replacing with air, so it's not even showing it, but that's what it's doing. Uh, it's doing an execute command at a test for block, or it's doing an execute command at a player, and it's testing for a block one below him in snow. So if he's on snow, and only if he's on snow, it'll uh, have a constant output here, and it's going to be kind of like the one in the desert instead of like the one in the cave. Uh, like I said earlier, the one in the cave is if you just stand here, you still have a chance to get in the effect because there's a clock working on it. But on this one, it's not. It's just a constant output. But it'll turn on, on and off the more you walk around the terrain because you'll be off the snow a little bit when you're jumping up and down or stepping down or just jumping in general, I guess. So it's going to be the more you move around in the snow, the faster you will get it. So, uh, But it goes in these randomizers, which they're all full. There's four of them. So it's a one in nine chance going into three more one in nine chances until it gets to this one. And this one just says, the snow is biting at your toes in blue text. I'll just go ahead and do this. That's what it says right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I put another 1 in 9 chance going to the next one. And I just put in 1 in 9, uh, I put this way up here just so it doesn't say it every time. Uh, just so it's a random reminder instead of like a constant thing every single time you get it. Because that'd be kind of annoying. I mean, at first it's pretty decent, but it's like after you play for a little while, I assume people will be like, okay, I get it, you know, stop saying it. <laughs> Uh, and it just gives you the effect of hunger. Now, hunger is different than this, uh, even though they have the same name. Hunger, the hunger effect is basically the effect you get when you eat like um, rotten zombie flesh. It's that thing that makes your hunger bar go all gammy and decrease really quickly and turn green and stuff like that. Uh, I guess I could just go ahead and here. I can actually put down some snow, hopefully. And this should work. Oh no, but there's a big randomizer on it, so it'll take a long time. Ah, okay, so I want to show you guys it, but it's like I don't want to sit here and jump up and down for 20 minutes just to show you what I 
definitely have working because I've tested it already, just not on a time scale. So, <laughs> all right. So, what it does is if I go to game mode zero and I give me this command, oops, if I give me this command, it does that. Yep, see, what, see what's going on here for 30 seconds. I uh, don't know if I'm going to leave it for 30 seconds. I think it's going to be constant until you go around a fire, but uh, this should work. Yep, and as you see, I don't have it anymore. So we're going to do it again. We got it. Still 27 seconds left, 26. If we lock next to this fire, it's gone. So that's due to, and it doesn't really matter where we're at around this fire. We can walk over here. It's gone. So I think that's pretty cool. And that's what all of these command blocks are doing. It looks like it's complicated, but it's just a bunch of these clocks lined up. And I know all these command blocks aren't really needed. You could just I just copy and paste them pretty much. So, and by copy and paste, I don't mean like MC. I just like hit Control, middle mouse button, and then boom. <laughs> I just did that all the way down. So it's pretty simple. It's a lot easier to me, uh, to me than figuring out coordinates of how much I want to fill with this and how much I don't. So it's like, eh, <laughs> no big deal. It doesn't cause any more lag, so it's it's fine with me. If it does uh, come to that point, I'm sure I could do that, but. Right now, it's basically testing for all of this, uh, and I think uh, something like this. I think it's just this little shape like this. I messed up that shape. Yeah, it's testing for that, basically. So if you're in this area of it, and next to it, of course, uh, I might make that wider just because some people like to make little designs and stuff. So, I mean, it'd be kind of annoying if you have to come this close to get to it, you know? So, I might make it around like right here, so like three blocks away in every direction. But I just wanted to stop there just because I knew it worked and it works just fine. But, yeah. So, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll go over the rest of the commands in another video, most likely, just because it's kind of getting lengthy and I'm surprised I've went this long without it completely messing up. But,. <clears throat> I do like all the effects, so tell me what you guys think about it. Uh, I think one of my favorite things, <clears throat> besides the heartbeat, is just the fact if you stand on this, you start sweating. I just like that. <clears throat> Even if the sweat drops do, like, go at mock speed into the sky, it's still pretty sweet in my opinion. So uh, tell me what you guys think about it. Like and subscribe, it helps. Uh, give me your ideas. I'm sure I could just add more stuff. Uh, still in very early testing, so when I do give out this map, if there's a high enough demand for it, uh, expect bugs. <laughs> expect bugs less on the redstone part of it, but more on the, um, basically the too much randomization, or not enough randomization, basically. Uh, stuff takes way too long to happen, you know. I don't want things to be pointless because, like, say, I don't want dehydration to be pointless because heat stroke takes way too long, and you could just run across the desert without even getting heat stroke, so... Uh, I don't know. I'll mess around with it a little bit. I might just add them clocks to all of them instead of just the whole terrain mechanic, how you step down a bunch, but we'll see. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. It's vanilla realism, as of it is right now anyways. And uh, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching.